Hello dear, welcome back for this week's uh, video. Uh, today I would like to show you uh, something different because in my channel you're used to see uh, tutorials mainly, but this one will be a review of what I consider a Best Buy. Yes, I've been caught uh, as well by the calling of the world tube amplifiers, but I thought uh, that it would be a good idea to find an inexpensive one to start with. And in my opinion, this one is really a best buy. I'm speaking about the Harley Benton Tube 15 Celestion. Hello, here we are. You see that we have here available the Harley Benton Tube 15 Celestion. It is under my desk. Uh, I will show you this picture just for a short time. Then for, for, for giving you uh, some technical details and other, I will show you from, uh, from the website because uh, this one will be mic'd because I would like to let you also hear some very quick samples in my uh, apartment <laughs> to let you uh, to let you hear how it can work, uh, you see that it is uh, quite small, you can compare it with the size of my hand, but in any case it includes a 12 inches, tu uh, 12 inches speaker inside it, and it is all tube, including uh, preamp, including uh, power amplifier, and also including uh, the reverb, because it has a spring reverb that is then connected to one of the tubes, or valves if you are living in England, for, uh, for giving you also that effect. But let's uh, have a look, uh, first of all, to the topics we will be checking. This is the index. I will uh, give you an idea of the look and feel of the device, how I perceive it. Uh, I will give you some technical spe uh, specifications. You know, I'm most, mostly a technician more than a guitarist, so my sound samples will not be so fantastic. <laughs> you will find probably something better uh, within YouTube or in other websites, including the, the, the official website where it is sold. Uh, but I would like to give you a technical evaluation and a comparison with the price, because I told you at the beginning that this is a um, a Best Buy, in my opinion, and I have to justify this top, this uh, uh, statement. Well, how does it look? So we can start from evaluating that. In my opinion, this vintage look is quite beautiful. You see that the Tolex is completely white, well placed, in my opinion, with also some reinforcement corners that are full, that are stainless steel, so very strong. Also, you see that everything can be dismounted with screws. You can see them better if I tilt it a little. These are screws with their um, sleeves to prevent uh, damages to the Tolex. The Tolex, in my opinion, is well, uh, well placed. The only small defect I'm not sure I will be able to let you see is that on the bottom, it is not perfectly pressed together, and that's all. The, fabric here sounds feel uh, feel good it's not as good as a fender amplifier of course but it is good in my opinion even the the handle transfer a good uh, sensation because uh, this connection are screwed well screwed in the material the um, box uh, has a thickness of 30 millimeters in um, in good including uh, including also the, the tolex and this uh, handle is made of uh, leather or something very similar to leather, very strong, very, gives you the sensation that you can pull it uh, whenever you, wherever you want uh, without uh, damaging it. I can remember you that the weight uh, is not so um, is not so high because we are speaking of about uh, 12, uh, 12 kilograms. In any case, let me switch uh, the view. So I can show you directly from the website uh, the uh, characteristics. And by the way, you can also have a peek at the price. Uh, by the way, I purchased it as a B-stock. You see that right now there is a B-stock available for a much lower price compared to the street price. It's a 10% discount, more or less, if I, can, if I see it correctly. And uh, it is, uh, well, of course, with B-stock, you always risk to find uh, uh, products uh, that are not perfectly uh, in shape, 
but in any case, uh, the, the normally from Toman, you have no particular risk from, uh, from this uh, topic. Of course, uh, the price I'm showing you is, uh, is today, the 14th of June 2024. And of course, uh, many changes can, uh, can happen. In the past, it used to cost something less, but that is uh, uh, something that I don't want to... Uh, that, that, that is not possible to, to foresee uh, in any case, because of course, I can only tell you the price at this moment, but we will discuss about the price uh, in deep uh, later in another chapter. Uh, what I would like to show you is uh, that uh, uh, the, the, the system, you see on the back side, it is uh, visible uh, the um, a net with uh, a part that can be unscrewed that hides uh, also the, the the tubes the tubes are be below here we have one two three twelve ax uh, seven that are n two el84 you may see some similarities because they are very similar to what uh, also uh, marshall and fender used uh, to to use in any case uh, uh, you can have a look uh, at the characteristics uh, uh, just to scroll down because uh, the size uh, is uh, 43 centimeters for by 43 uh, for uh, by 43 and a half so mainly square and the depth uh, is 23 centimeters I can confirm these sizes because I measured them myself and the weight as I told you is about 11 kilograms that considering that this includes a 12 inches uh, speaker is uh, great because normally we are used to tube amplifiers that are that weights uh, like uh, uh, a rhino so it is always useful to find out something uh, something small uh, okay being said this as i said uh, well what what can i tell you and from that for that uh, i would like to switch again about the other characteristics the potentiometers this you see you see these uh, uh, cock uh, potentiometers very vintage uh, similar to the color i don't know if you like a white cream uh, color like this to me it looks fantastic because also it uh, seems to disappear behind my desk uh, and this one is a great uh, thing in my opinion to avoid uh, to avoid uh, any to, to, to make it, uh, to reduce it, its impact visually in the, in the room. You see that the, the potentiometers are very clear because this design is vintage. It can look uh, surpassed somehow, but it's good. They are very smooth when you rotate them. Very, very smooth. Not so loose, uh, not uh, too, too hard, and they, they can be set with a high precision because they are very, very good in my opinion. All of them, they look, uh, they, they, they sound uh, more or less the same from this point of view. And by the way, you see that we have uh, uh, a three band equalizer, low, medium, and high X. We have a tone that is uh, similar to the presence knob you can find on a Fender amplifier. It just switch between a darker tone to a brighter tone. That's, uh, that's the reason, so it's very compatible. You see that we have uh, um, a single channel, only one input. And by the way, one thing that I would like to show you, in my opinion, that uh, it's a good starting point when you take uh, uh, an amplifier, is that uh, the jack is definitely good. It is strong enough, very smooth, the the jack uh, the, the the male slides in very easily so they seem very good quality including uh, the, um, the 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 switcher to turning it on this one is uh, great you see i turn it on because it's uh, a valve amplifier so i want to warm it up to to let you hear what what it can do and also it has uh, some uh, interesting uh, well one thing that uh, I didn't like is that the cable, the power cable, let me switch the view so I can get you see that. I don't, what's something I didn't like is that the power cable you see is not detachable. This can be a, is a pity in my opinion because it can be 
uh, removed uh, it, well it can be removed and replaced but it it would be it would require a technician if it had a plug like this uh, in case uh, the, the cable get damaged during a gig or something like that it can be removed in the meantime uh, down there you should be able to see the connectors of the uh, reverb tank and look at the details we also have a velcro strap used to keep the cable when you wrap it for for movement so nothing left to uh, left uh, unconsidered and look uh, here we have uh, uh, an output but i would like to show you that from uh, the the pictures from the website you see the characteristics uh, well so looking at from the point of view from all the look and feel my personal sensation is high quality not top quality but high quality it doesn't uh, feel like something so cheap uh, including the handle i found uh, other amplifiers much more expensive with uh, very cheap plastic handles that uh, are very difficult to move around because you have always have the feeling that they can uh, break and drop down so this one sound sound good you have a rubber feet whatever you are expecting from something that should be used <laughs> moving around and so personally i think that it is uh, the, the first impact is very very good but again from an aesthetic point of view as i said white tolex this vintage look could maybe not be your uh, your your choice but in any case in my opinion it's great Okay, let's have a look at the power characteristics. It includes a, a power switch. The power is uh, the, the power that can provide is 15 watts, uh, so it can um, it can be used uh, in uh, probably in a small gig. Probably if you have a very uh, strong drummer or uh, <laughs> or if you are in a high in, in, in a large um, in a large gig you will need to to mic it of course uh, but for small rooms uh, with a drummer that is not so hard uh, or so it should work because it has all, also a one by twelve uh, uh, inches speaker in case uh, also you can connect it to an external uh, amplifier. So I would like to let you see what are the characteristics that, that are also visible in the, in, in the pictures. It has a 1 by 12 uh, inches speaker. The speaker is a Celestion 7080 that is visible in, my, in this picture. Uh, it is uh, the cheapest uh, Celestion speaker available in this size. But it's not bad. Uh, consider that uh, what the samples you will hear later uh, also are using this speaker in uh, not completely break, uh, broken, uh, uh, broken up um, conditions. So probably it's not at the, at the top of, the, of its uh, possibilities. But in any case, I didn't find it uh, bad. Uh, online, because this this speaker, this uh, device uh, is equivalent to the to the mono price uh, 15 uh, that you can find around. Many people tried replacing this with the Celestion uh, Vintage 30 or something like that, so, and they were very happy about that because it, it sounds like an improvement. But consider that the the, the device also includes an external speaker. Um, an external speaker uh, plug that can control speakers that accept 8 to 16 ohms in impedance. By the way, the internal speaker is uh, an 8 ohm uh, speaker, so if you want to replace it, you also can know that. It has an effect loop, send and return. You may remember that I made a video a couple of weeks ago when I showed you the use of four cables method using this specific amplifier. It also includes a reverb, a reverb pedal input. It's a simple, single pedal input, and it can only turn on and off the reverb. It, then, it then not, does not allow to, to set it. Uh, one thing to remember about the sender return that can be maybe frustrating somehow, if you plug a cable within the return, so like you are using an external pedal board to, as an effect or other pedals to go straight into the power amplifier of this amp, 
uh, it will deactivate uh, the con uh, the, the, it will deactivate uh, uh, the input uh, the, the guitar input uh, immediately so it is not possible for me it's um, practical because i use it at home so i normally would like to have a cable coming from the return that i can use to plug some pedals uh, like my pedal board or or modeler but uh, i would like also to have the possibility to go straight into the amplifier but to do that i need to really touch the return not a big deal but i think it's worth uh, knowing it uh, well, there are some warnings. Consider that this device uh, is a tube amplifier, so there are high voltage uh, inside, 400 uh, watts or so. The power consumption is around 30 watts, so about the double of the sound pressure that it can produce. And uh, this is uh, all for 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 the back uh, for the back side. If we look at the front side, what are the characteristics available here? We have uh, uh, a selector, a an on-off selector, and uh, uh, and the light uh, and the, that uh, turns on when when it is activated. There is no standby. This is a pity, in my opinion, because normally for warming up a tube you would like to keep standby, but it is not available in this uh, in this device. As you know, they need to to save some money somewhere. There, it has only one input channel that is connected to the part to the guitar input on the right uh, right hand side. There is uh, um, we have uh, oh, so for that channel in any case we have two knobs to uh, to set gain and volume. This way, of course, the gain can never be zero because that is how a tube amplifier normally works but if you set it at around two and uh, push the volume uh, as far as you want uh, the, it tends to to stay clean until the highest volume where also the power the power section tends uh, to, uh, to to crunch to distort and in that case uh, the the the, mm, the add room is finished and you have no more uh, no more availability of the and it is uh, you you uh, you have no more room for for clean tones as i said there is a tone knob and a three band amplifier a reverb a spring reverb a real spring reverb and uh, very welcome if you plan to use it at home that in my opinion is probably the best uh, uh, destination for this amplifier you have a power redu uh, reducer from 15 watts to 1 watt that is uh, great because honestly speaking uh, for a tube amplifier if you're using distortion so you are pushing the, the preamp uh, the volume is increasing and uh, even one watt can become <laughs> quite annoying for your neighbors uh, if you are uh, pushing it uh, too much so we spoke about the characteristics we spoke about the possible connections uh, uh, available in that uh, in this um, great uh, device so give me moment i would like to turn off this one yes okay you see that uh, again you can have a look a closer look to the part as i said gain volume tone best middle and high and uh, the power reducer and that's all okay so we can have a look on the website uh, by the way if you want to see for detail check uh, toma Toma, if you don't know it, uh, is uh, pro the main uh, um, instruments uh, reseller available in Europe. They are in Germany, located. Uh, they are located in Germany, uh, and uh, they deliver, I would say, worldwide. Because, by the way, they deliver also in the United States. Uh, but consider that this device uh, is working at uh, European. Uh, power so it is working it is expecting 230 watts and 50 hertz in the in its power power section it is not delivered with the switching amplifier or something like that so you cannot use it wherever you want around the world it can only work if you give it the correct the correct power don't connect it to to anything else, to to the wrong <laughs> sockets uh, unless you have an adapter you have not only an adapter but also a, a converter uh, for a voltage converter because you you risk uh, heavily to to damage it or have also some other less pleasant uh, things 
if you're interested in a device that you can use in the United States, you can look for the equivalent. It's exactly the same device delivered by the same Chinese company, honestly. So Tomang is only the distributor for this, uh, this device. And this one is what you will, the, the, the device that you can find. It is named Monoprice Stage Right 15. You see that it has the same Celestion label <laughs> in here that you can also see in my in my sample. It's uh, over there. So it is uh, definitely exactly the same device. But the great difference to consider is that this one is made for uh, United States. Uh, oh, by the way, great picture about the, the reverb tank. And uh, this device uh, is made for United States distribution, so it uses uh, the correct, uh, uh, the, it, it can work with the, 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 the power characteristics that you can find in United States. So this is the website you are looking for if you are living in a country where you, where you need uh, 120 watt, watts instead of uh, uh 230 or something like that it's exactly the same device if you try and change it and then convert the price between uh, us dollars and euros it's exactly the same so uh, it's up to you wherever you're living if you're interested in this in this device you know where you can find it i will return to the you see that for toman it uh, sports this harley benton logo that is, Alimentum is a, a trademark used by Toman for their uh, supplies, mainly guitars, but also amplifiers and other, uh, and other things. And uh, they wanted to, to have it labeled like that, but it's ex exactly the same, uh, the same device. Okay. Now I would like to let you hear some uh, small sound samples. I'm not a fantastic guitarist, but for that, uh, we are gonna switch uh, to another <laughs> to another picture. So uh, I would like to show you. Um, well, you see that how I mixed uh, the um, the device. And now you see that I have my mic uh, directly on the center of the cone to let you have the idea. And uh, I will be playing it uh, with. Uh, another early band of device a guitar uh, to let you hear some uh, some very simple uh, samples uh, that uh, i hope you will uh, you will like so give me a moment uh, that i'm i'm taking a pause because i need to move my camera in order to let you see also the, the guitar, to let you see the guitar and uh, let you hear some samples keep in touch Sorry, you know I cannot play it right, but you have you got idea I think, uh, because copyright strike is incredible. So maybe if you are interested, I can put uh, some shorts. Uh, then that way I cannot violate any copyright when uh, when replicating something. In any case, one last thing I would like to let you see. Re let me remove the reverb so it is uh, more evident. Is that uh, uh, one great thing about this? Uh, uh, totally uh, um, amp-based, ampli uh, sorry, valve-based amplifier or tube-based amplifier is that is their great dynamic. My mic is not fantastic, so probably you cannot tell everything. Also consider that YouTube is compressing as well. So I don't believe you will be able to say uh, how much uh, uh, dynamic you can have compared to another amplifier. By the way, I have a Boss Katana here with me, a Mark II. That's huge in my opinion it's uh, the 100 watts that in my opinion is the best but uh, i can tell that did that sound a lot more uh, uh, i don't know artificial compared to to this one even if it is so inexpensive but another thing that i would like to let you see is that uh, it is uh, it's incredible reactive to the volume of your guitar so you can you can move it from uh, an almost perfect clean. And now they consider that the gain, the input gain is at maximum on the amplifier, but you can go from here to here. So I think that you, you, get an, you got an idea about that. Now that I'm back from another time for timeline, I would like to uh, make an evaluation with you, some, uh, some considerations about the price of this device. 
you see that according to the uh, to, to, to the Toman website or monoprice website uh, more or less the price is the same 259 euros or 279 uh, US dollars so they are very comparable in my opinion regardless of which one uh, you need I will I made just a couple of calculations why I consider this something that nobody can uh, can complain about you may have heard from the sound uh, samples but you can find a lot uh, online of these uh, of, be of samples better than this one by the way if you look uh, at Toma website uh, there are uh, many samples that you can try if you look uh, into the Arlie Benton uh, um, website uh, uh, again, uh, that is uh, the, the, the website, uh, of the official website uh, of the, uh, of the um, brand, <laughs> even if it is not uh, uh, exactly what you can find. You see that they have many products. If you look at the device, here you will find a lot of audio samples that are very good, in my opinion. So I would recommend you to, to, to leverage uh, that one to... To, to, to have better ideas I can the only thing I can cons can confirm is that I checked these samples and I have to tell you they really feel like the real thing so <laughs> you can trust them normally I not so I don't consider uh, manufacturers websites so reliable when they provide samples because they are elaborated in some way but these ones really sound like uh, I feel it uh, in my room in any case, one thing that I would like to let you understand is that it is also possible to purchase it as a B-stock and save some money. You see that here. But also consider that, uh, I should not say, tell it, but consider that Toman gives you a 30-day money-back guaranteed. That's why there are some B-stocks, because many people purchase the device. They can use it for a whole month and then send it back. And I can confirm no questions asked. That's why it's also one of my favorite uh, suppliers when I need uh, guitars uh, or any other uh, any, any other tool, uh, pedals, uh, wh whatever you want. You will see that the catalog is incredible. I'm not endorsed uh, with Toman. They are not paying me. They don't even know that I exist because my channel is very small. So I'm just reporting my personal experience. Uh, you can try that for yourself. In any case, uh, one thing that I would really like you to check is a comparison of the price you have seen with the components included into the amplifier what would it cost i know it's a strange question but in my opinion it's important because it gives you an idea of what you are purchasing what would it cost if we needed if we wanted to make it at home by ourselves do it a do it yourself kit for example you see it includes a Celestion 7080 speaker. You can find a link to Toma. By the way, it's the lowest price I found, but if you find something better, it's okay. The prices are in euros. Generally speaking, you should convert them to US dollars uh, without particular changes, but you can double check for yourself. But looking at my personal experience, I paid personally because you see my price was 242 euros because I purchased the B-Stock as well. It was just, uh, uh, the, the reduction was smaller than what you have seen on the website. But let's consider that it is 259. That's not a problem. You have a speaker that costs alone 84 euros. Then it also includes uh, the preamp valves that are three uh, Shagang, that is uh, a Chinese rebrander. Normally, they rebrand some Chinese or even some uh, Russian uh, valves, so it depends on the model and so on. But the, here are they look like I'm branded. There, there are no marks, uh, just some codes uh, on the tubes, but I was able to find out which kind of uh, uh, tubes they, they use. Consider that uh, the, the, in the preamp you have three amplifier, three preamp amplifier that are model 12 AX7. You can find them whenever you you want, and uh, it is possible to find uh, on AliExpress. So I found them uh, in uh, where in a very inexpensive source. The lowest price I was able to find, uh, three of them cost. Uh, 
36 euros in the lowest price I found. I have to be honest, I would never purchase from here. Normally, these kind of valves have a higher price. They are around 15, 20 euros each. That is 45 or even more. Then you have two other uh, power valves for the power section that are two EL84, the same used by the first Marshall, Marshall amplifier, the same used by Fender in the in, in the um, uh, sorry in, in in the Blues Junior or other kind of models. So they are very common. You will find them wherever you want and the best replacement i found was the 32 euros again i don't know exactly the brand or so if you look on the toman website you will find that there are some good uh, good quality valves at around 50 euros uh, for for the pair it should be better if you need to replace them to pair to purchase a pair because they are uh, verified to to have the same output level that is very important normally in the uh, in the power amplification uh, power amplifier section even in this case when we have just a, a mono channel so you don't have to balance left and right left and right like in other stereo amplifiers for example Consider that the less expensive empty, empty cabinet of an acceptable quantity I was able to find is the G112 Plus Unloaded by Toman that, is, that has similar thickness of the wall or of the wood and so on is 99 euros. A two spring reverb tank like the one included here again the cheapest one I found was 25 euros so even with these prices that in my opinion are something I would for, especially for the valves I would for the tubes I would never use these ones they are uh, I, I don't trust them so much I would spend something more but given the lowest price I was able to find the total amount alone without all the power, the rest all the rest the knobs the the tolex the the handle all the parts related to the, all the electronics that is included in there it's alone only the components makes it makes up for 276 euros it's a simple <laughs> addition that that i made here so what i wanted to say uh, why I'm sharing this with you? Because uh, I was uh, uh, skeptical um, in the first place, but then I was convinced because I have 30 days uh, uh, test. And honestly, if I would, uh, 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 if I had an idea of making a, an amplifier myself, I had spent more than this one just for the components, and not all the components, because all the electronics is not mentioned here. So. It's incredible. Of course, you know that uh, uh, mass production can reduce a lot cost. Of course, this one is coming from China, and uh, we are they used us uh, to uh, very very aggressive prices. But I think that this one is uh, is an outsider, in my opinion. Also, because uh, there are some similar amplifiers. By the way, this one is an exact copy from electronical point of view of the the Laney, the Laney Cub 12 that is a, a boutique amplifier much appreciated that is still available also in Italy for example but it costs about 600 euros so it's much more more expensive and I have to be honest in my opinion that price is the correct one this one is incredible in my opinion and uh, and that is something I wanted to to, to share with you because uh, being uh, if they keep this uh, like that it's uh, it's great uh, it's really a great uh, a great opportunity to to purchase uh, this uh, this one at this price of course uh, you have the opportunity to test it if you don't like it you can return it maybe you don't like the the, the sound it can happen it doesn't uh, include uh, a lot of efforts only the reverb because it is an analogic one it doesn't have a delay or other things so it is not an all-in-one solution uh, so it is not okay for everybody because uh, the distortion is not so strong if you want uh, to play metal uh, from dust to <laughs> till, from from uh, um, from dawn to dusk 
you really need uh, something different like a mesa or something like that but consider that this one you have heard the dynamic when i changed the volume on my guitar this reflects perfectly if you want to use it as a pedal platform if you have some uh, real pedals or <laughs> That is something, please, let me, uh, one, one thing that I tried, and I'm quite happy with that. I tried using this uh, as, the, um, as an amplifier connected to, um, uh, to a model or a new X MG30 I have uh, here at home. And I'm more than happy about uh, the, the final result. If you are interested, I can make a specific video about that. So what, what can I say? Is it uh, worth uh, the price? Uh, to me, it's an incredible Best Buy, a complete outsider, and uh, I purchased it. I was, as I said, very skeptical, but when I heard how it plays, I was astonished. I forget any thoughts about sending it back or something like that. But for me, because I'm not telling that it is for everybody. It's uh, uh, heavier than other 15 watts uh, um, solid state amplifiers for example it is 11 kilograms that is not so much for a tube amplifier in any case the the the, the cone inside is not the best one yes it is uh, that that's true uh, it's not so powerful to be used in any gig that's true as well it's uh, it doesn't include any effects uh, it cannot be controlled by pedal it needs external devices to get uh, uh, to, to shape your tone uh, in, in all the details. So, as I said, this is simply an amplifier. Simply, but it's also simple. <laughs> that uh, can be an advantage. In any case, uh, as I said, it's not for everybody, but to me, it's uh, fantastic. Then it's up to you, sorry. I spoke uh, a lot. Uh, this video became much longer than, than I wanted, but I wanted to share my, my experience with you and reason about uh, this, uh, this product that, in my opinion, is uh, a great... Uh, uh, great thing to 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 collect uh well i hope you like this uh, i know it's very long maybe it can become even boring thank you for watching uh, and uh, so far if you are still following me but in any case i hope you you found this interesting and matching your your expectation from a very homemade uh, review i don't have uh, a recording studio or something so i could not uh, show you uh, all the details but i wanted to uh, to, to, to stress to remark those de the details that are more important for somebody like me that want uh, an amplifier and a good amplifier that uh, uh, has a good feeling under the fingers uh, in your ears in the room that gives you a good hit when you when you're using it and uh, is good for practice mainly it can be used for some gigs, yes, but probably is not uh, what I would suggest uh, for that. In any case, uh, if you're interested in something like this, I believe this is a best buy. Thank you again for watching. Give me comments if you want. I always uh, reply to that. Please uh, evaluate subscribing to the channel if you want uh, to be notified when something new is uh, available. Too bad my regular job uh, put, pull me away very, very frequently, so I'm not so regular. I try to, put, to, to publish a new video every week, but I'm not so, uh, sometimes I'm not so punctual. But in any case, thank you, thank you again. Any comments, including critics, uh, is more than welcome, and normally I reply to everybody, so feel free to write below here. Thank you again. Bye-bye to everybody. See you next time.